and good afternoon guys and welcome to a new episode today is friday thank god it's friday and we are leaving we are going to mexico yay so basically i was packing the stuff i have a lot of gear as usual because on top of that i'm going to be shooting for a conference over there so pretty intense but I also got some like underwater housing for the camera. Uh, it's something soft, it's a cheap soft thing. We'll see how it works. I'm pretty excited to shoot in the water because it's something I've been trying to do for many, many years. But actually I never invested in the gear and I found some very cheap option. And anyway, super excited. I'm just wondering for the next trip how I'm going to be able to fit everything but I'll figure it out. The one thing that I kind of wish is that I did not have to take the Nikon gear because it takes a lot of space. I wish I had something more compact than that or just I actually use that G85 with like very good lenses or something, but it's not in par with the quality level that I get with the Nikon D750 and that gear, so yeah. I'm still struggling finding the perfect gear that can do my video and the pictures. Guys, actually I wanna show you something funny, so this is my hat of the bag and it's 80 percent gear and 20 percent clothes or maybe 30 let's be honest and here this is Trina's half so you've got my backpack which has just gear the suitcase that has gear and a little bit of clothes and you know what it's a bit embarrassing because I still have don't look at the mess don't look at the mess but I still have to put the laptop and the hard drives in there. It's a lot of gear. <laughs> but you know what? I love it and that's part of the job. So let's just enjoy it. I guess this is a pretty weird episode, but finally made it to the airport. It was super busy, lots of people. I guess everyone's leaving for the weekend, but we're leaving for a bit longer. And uh, flight delayed, one hour. We'll wait. And then we're supposed to arrive in Cancun. There's one thing I want to see is we rented the car and apparently they always charge you more for insurance. And um, something that they say is mandatory but sometimes it's not there is one that's already included in the reservation I made so we'll see if yes or no it was included and not I'm gonna let you know because I think it can be useful for a lot of other people so hmm and as you can see I really need a tan I'm so so white right now in the plane but we got separated Trina is not with me because you're pretty sad. I made it next to Trina. And I'm dead. This is my sixth flight in seven days. Yeah, I just realized she's gonna fall asleep anyway. I'm gonna fall so. asleep in a <laughs> So we're clearly having some like car rental problems. Guys, we finally made it. We actually went to Avis. Thumbs up to Avis, they saved us and uh, got a good price. And now we're gonna drive to Tulum. So this episode was definitely not what I expected it to be. But you know what? It's part of life. Some weird adventures. I'll debrief you exactly on what happened with the Firefly company. It's, it's absolutely terrible. I highly recommend never ever ever to rent a car with Firefly. They shouldn't even exist. I hey guys, so we finally made it, but it's super late. It's like 2 a.m. plus. I have a shoot in the morning and I definitely need to sleep. I'm uber tired. Um, I will tell, give you more details tomorrow about that rental car thing. But basically they were asking for a crazy amount. It's a cheap low-cost company called Firefly and they were like you need like 10k deposit for the car and I was like what and I'm like okay let's try it and then they say well your card doesn't work but actually the card worked perfectly fine but they kind of block the transaction and they pretend it doesn't work so that you buy one of their 
um, premiums or whatever that cost like $200 more than the rest. Before we could finish anything, the guy just disappeared. So we're like, oh, that's really weird. So never use that company again. And I remember bitching about it in the UK and I used it once and I completely forgot that was the name. So never ever use that company to be honest. And so then we went to see uh, Avis, my friend Avis that I used to use a lot in the past and they figured out something for us. It was cheaper and it was amazing. So now that we drove about an hour, an hour and a half down to Tulum, uh, Akumal actually, while well, we are in the, in the place where we're gonna be staying and uh, I'm just gonna crash. Sorry, this video was kind of weird. I'll see you tomorrow for a new adventure. It's gonna be way better. Have a great day and remember, make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when it ends. See you guys. Bye-bye.